Good morning guys. Welcome back to Tomorrow Day Farms. Today we're going to work on some brine for country ham. Um, this is something I love to do, especially after we process. Um, this ham will be used for our Sunday dinners, things like that. And uh, I'm going to get you guys paused and moved over. And this is super simple guys. You can do it at home. Just get a leg of pork if you have to out of the grocery store and make your own hams. It's super simple. But anyways guys, one second and I will move you guys over to the stove and we'll get working on this brine. All right guys, so three liters of water. I'm gonna grab my spoon. And I need my molasses. Forgot that. All right, so we're gonna start with two cups, two and a fourth cup of salt. And I'm using kosher salt. And this is a big ham. I think I have a 10 pound ham here. I don't know, when, when I was cutting, I was just cutting. So I didn't weigh anything because it doesn't matter. It's not for anybody else's consumption, but family, so. So now to that, guys, I'm going to add the rest of my peppercorns here. Maybe a little more pepper. I'm just gonna have to use ground them out of I am right out of everything else, but that's okay. Make do with what you got. So I have my burner on high right now. You can hear the salt on the bottom. You got to make sure you bring this brine up to a boil. So now we're going to start adding the brown sugar. You want two cups of brown sugar. Just quickly made this. I'm getting all the brines done today. And I finally have some content for you guys. <laughs> Alright. Alright. And then we're going to add a fourth of a cup of molasses. This just gives it a whole new flavor and I think you guys will love it. And then I do a brown sugar sauce for the top and we're going to do all this together. Two tablespoons of your canning pickling spice. Bay leaves to taste. Love bay leaves. And then the substitute for the curing salt. I want my sugar to burn here. Is celery powder or celery juice. You can use that as well. I'm going to try it one time with the celery stock and see if it works the same. And that is a tablespoon and a half. And that's it, guys. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to bring this up to boil. I want to make sure every ounce of that salt and brown sugar is all combined. I mean, guys, if you guys wanted to add cinnamon sticks to this, make it your own. The base is usually exactly the same. Three liters of water, some sh some salt, some sugar. If you like a super sweet ham, add more sugar. Um, make it make it yours. You don't like mustard seeds? Then don't add them. Don't add the pickling spice. Just add, you know, the... Uh, the bay leaves and it'll all work out. But I happen to love the mustard seeds so I'm okay with it. And you wash this right off so you don't have the mustard seeds. But, but it smells so good with the maple syrup or the brown sugar and the molasses. 
and then we will be cooking up country ham in no time so this will sit on the ham I'm gonna get the ham out here and we're gonna get it ready for the bowl and then it's gonna go to the outdoor kitchen into the fridge there I have lots of room in there and it's just gonna sit in there for five days and just get nice and amazing All right, I'm gonna bring you guys back when this is all brought up to boil and I'll show you the ham. All right guys, so here's our ham. So now what I'm going to do is just poke holes all over it to get that brine down in there. And then we're gonna tie it up. And I am gonna use a, a large canning pot. Hang on, my kid left the kettle on. Alright, so just going to poke a whole bunch of holes in here. Now if you don't want to tie it, you don't have to. Give you guys a better view there. So I'm just going to take some butcher's twine here. And I'm just going to... Get it all tied up here. And we are going to drop it in the canning pot. Then I will, um, I'll do a better job with this guys in just a second here. And I will get it to the outdoor kitchen where it can just sit, get super happy in that brine. And then I have a whole bunch of sausage meat to cut up. Move those over. Start from the other side. One more, guys, and then just the cross beam. Hopefully this week I can get working on the garden. It keeps snowing on and off here. So, and it being our first real year here, uh, last Sunday was our official first year on the farm. So that was pretty cool. So now what I'm gonna do is grab these, tuck these under. You can do it however you want to do it. Untie your bow. I'll finish that up so now I'm just gonna grab my canning pot and I'll and I have to lift you guys up here to get the canning pot in the shot drop that in so there we go so there's the ham okay and now 
when that brine is all nice and cold, I will pour it on here and I will pop it in the fridge for seven days. And then when it's ready, I'll bring you back and we'll make some country style brown sugar ham together. So this is step one and I'll see you guys for step two. All right guys, we're gonna start with the ham. We're gonna get the ham in the oven. You gotta put the ham in the oven before the glaze. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this string on for it to cook for a little bit. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna score the ham and I'm gonna get that scored the best I can with the string on. Well, we will take the string off. I think it might be a bit easier. I was just gonna leave it on, but. So you wanna cook your ham a little bit before you start your glaze. And then, so you wanna cook it about halfway and then start glazing it. So, I wanted to show you the scoring first, but look how beautiful that ham looks without any extra salt. No curing salt, no nothing. So we're just gonna score it gently. And this is a big ham, guys. I'm gonna pick it up here. Look at the size of this ham. It doesn't even go in camera view. And then I'm gonna drop in the bottom, after I wash my hands, a jar of apple pie filling with a bit of water. And I'll bring you right back when I get there. All right guys, so I'm just gonna open up my apple pie filling and I'm gonna drop this in here. And then I'm gonna add a jar of water to it, cover it, and this will give you an apple-y, smoky texture or smell to your ham. This will all break down and then we'll add this all to the glaze. I'll be right back guys. All right guys, so now we got the apples in there. I'm just gonna move some around here. And I have my water, I'm just gonna smash them up a little bit. You can use pineapple, you can put hickory smoke all over the top. I don't have any hickory smoke right now. But, and I'm just gonna add some water. And then we will take these apples and make the maple syrup glaze later on. But you want your ham to be almost cooked before you get to that point. Or it will, it could burn and that's not what, what we want. So I'm just gonna lift the ham up a little bit and I'll watch this water level through the day. Cause there is sugar in there too, right? So we gotta be careful. And there we go. There we go. So now I'm just going to cover it with some tin foil and I will bring you back and we will finish up that glaze. All right, guys, it's time to make the glaze. I am going to add half a cup of butter to this pan here. And I will leave the recipe down below as well. And then we're just gonna let this kind of all melt. And then we're gonna add the brown sugar. Cause you want this to brown up a little bit. And then we're gonna base this ham up and put it back in the oven and then I'm gonna pull it out to rest for about an hour while everything else cooks. And then we will slice it up. I'm going to add one cup of brown sugar to this. And 
We're going to mix that together. And now we're going to add two good cloves of garlic to that. And then after this, half a cup of honey. Now I'm just going to eyeball the honey. And then here is half a cup of my pan drippings, the apples. Going to add two tablespoons of mustard. This is our homemade mustard. So as you can see, it's very simple. And those apples will break up in there. Now you do want to bring this to a good boil. Now we're going to add a dash of clove and a dash of cinnamon as well. And that's it. So when you bring it up to boil, it will thicken a little bit. And then we will add that to, oh, I forgot the half a cup of if you're not using um, bastings like out of the bottom of your pan, you're going to need half a cup of water. So I will mark that in the uh, description box. Drippings out of the bottom of the ham or half a cup of water. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring this up to a boil, clean up a little bit, and then we will baste this onto the, the ham. All right, guys, so we're going to start basting here. You want to be very literal. You want to get everywhere here. So I'm going to baste this every 15 minutes. The tin foil will be off. Michael's here already tasting everything. And uh, I'm going to use all this basting on this ham, okay? So I'm going to get everywhere, get it done, get it back in the oven, and do it until all the, the basting is gone. So I will bring you back when I'm all done basting up. All right, guys, here's the ham. The glaze is all gone. I'm just going to slice into this. So you can see the inside. There you go. Now guys, keep in mind this was from our pig, and this is our Easter dinner tonight. So I'm going to slice this up. We're going to have Easter dinner. Everything came out of our pantry, and uh, it's going to be good. And I'd like to thank all you guys for hanging out with me today while I made this beautiful ham. There's the inside again. And I just let it rest for about about an hour while everything else heated up. And that's it. That's going to be Easter dinner, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you could, please give me a big thumbs up. Share the video. Because this cure is amazing. This brine with no added salt. Here's a great big piece here for you. There we go. Alright guys, and I will see you guys super soon. Bye.